Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Dennis Lee's Forex videos. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for your feedback, uh, which has been positive. So please continue to send your questions and feedback as it helps me to improve my trading as well as this video presentations. To answer one question from a viewer who asked if I am currently trading the dynamic breakout strategy 2 on a real account. Um, I have started paper trading this strategy on four currency pairs uh, which are the Euro USD, the Sterling USD, the USD Swiss and the Aussie USD and I plan to paper trade for at least four to six months. Um, the reason I recommend this approach is it is allows us to understand the expert advisor uh, better as well as to improve the reliability of the backtesting results. Uh, in today's topic, uh, we will be talking about paper trading in MetaTrader 4 using SQL and this is an updated video. Recall that in my previous video, we discussed about paper trading in MetaTrader 4 using Excel. So today we will be looking at a live demonstration of a paper trading system in MetaTrader using SQL and we will then uh, compare and evaluate this system um, with the previous Excel version. Uh, we have a live demo here of the dynamic breakout strategy to expert advisor and it is uh, running on four currency pairs, uh, one pair per window and um, as you recall previously we mentioned the indicator window at the bottom shows the individual trades that are open and uh, it is currently trading in a paper trading SQL mode. Um, you can also tell that it is in paper trading because the ticket number starts with 1. Whereas in actual trading, the ticket number uh, is actually an 8 digit number. Also, um, in the top left corner, you will see that the mode is 2 which is uh, paper trading in SQL mode and mode 1 is Excel mode and mode 0 is actual trading mode so we also can see that the SQL version is 1.15 and the number of paper trades is 1 and below it states that we are now recording all statistics uh, we'll talk more about that uh, later. We have here a Windows app called SQL Lite Administrator which you can download um, for free from the internet and we use this to manage the SQL database and recall previously in Excel we had worksheets that were titled Open Positions, Account Details and trade history. In SQL, these worksheets are represented by tables and each table contains several fields. Uh, for example, in account details, we have one primary key ID and six fields. And in open positions, we have one primary key ID and 17 fields and so on. In account details, we have uh, the table populated with values from MetaTrader. Um, ID is a unique ID which is generated automatically for each row. Uh, account number is the MetaTrader account number which is 404660. The currency is the base currency of uh, the account which is Aussie dollar. Um, balance is the amount of funds that is, uh, that is available uh, which is 286. Equity is the 
balance of your account plus or minus the unrealized profit or loss so we have a, a profit here in this case margin is the amount of margin required for all your open positions and finally profit is the unrealized profit of all your open trades um, in open positions uh, each row here correspond to an open trade in MetaTrader so currently we have one open trade and the values have been populated by MetaTrader um, the first column is ID which is as I mentioned earlier is uh, generated automatically uh, for each row the next column is ticket and this represents the order ticket for your open orders and the rest of the fields were explained previously in my Excel video so this brings us to our last table statistics uh, which I had mentioned earlier and we use this table to record down all the um, trade statistics from our expert advisor so there are two parts to this table the first part shows the maximum of all the aggregate data and the second part shows the maximum of an individual trade so let's look at the individual fields here the first field total trades represent the maximum aggregate number of open trades in this case it is one the next field represents the maximum aggregate of uh, number of lots open uh, in this case is 0 0.1 uh, the next field total profit represents the maximum aggregate of unrealized profit from all open positions and the next field is in pips and the total drawdown field represents the maximum aggregate drawdown of all unrealized losses the total drawdown pip represents that the previous column in pips and total margin represents the maximum aggregate margin required for all the open positions uh, maximum lots is the maximum number of lots for an individual trade which is 0 0.1 and the maximum profit is the maximum unrealized profit from a single individual trade so the rest of the fields are similar to the aggregate fields except in this case it represents an individual trade and we will now compare and evaluate the SQL paper trading module uh, with the Excel module first SQL module is more efficient as it can be attached to multiple charts uh, well Excel module can only be attached to one chart per meta trader um, if you attempt to attach it to more than one chart the meta trader platform will crash um, and I do not know the reason for this uh, second the SQL module is cheaper and more convenient to deploy as it has an open source license uh, hence allowing unlimited PC installation uh, whereas for Excel the module is more expensive due to Excel's one license per PC installation requirement um, and it also consumes a large amount of hard disk space 
The SQL module is more robust as it uses uh, API functions in a DLL file to read and write to the database. Uh, but Excel module uses the dynamic data exchange uh, functions which are not as robust as the API functions. And finally, SQL module has a smaller uh, memory footprint than the Excel module. Uh, it can be shown that the MetaTrader consumes 3 to 5 times more memory when using Excel compared to SQL. Um, so um, the advantage of SQL uh, outweighs Excel in this case. This uh, brings us to the end. Uh, if you have any feedback or questions regarding this video, you can either email me or write a comment on my YouTube channel and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And thank you for watching this video.